facing Violet from Nova Scotia Living. Good morning, darling. Did you have a good sleep? She's stretching. Anyways, it's six o'clock in the morning. I hit snooze a few times. But we're gonna get this Friday rocking, guys. All right, guys. Happy Friday, I should say. We're back from our walk. I had my vinegar. Violet's having her breakfast, and I didn't have to make a coffee today because I got a Tim Hortons one. Actually, I have two of them. <laughs> my husband and Mally went to town last night so she could pick up some more painting canvases because she loves to paint. I'll have to show you some more of her paintings we have around here after when it's light out. But <clears throat> anyways, the cheapest place to get them is at the dollar store. You can get them at Walmart, but they're the same thing. Only you're paying 10 bucks instead of 4 bucks or something like that, honestly. You can get cheaper ones at Walmart, but you can still get them even cheaper at the dollar store. So, <clears throat> dollar store it is. But they didn't get back till 8.30, and he brought back two coffees for me. He thought I'd have one at 8.30 at night, and then one tomorrow morning. I said, no, <laughs> I'm not having a coffee at 8.30 at night. I used to do, drink coffee all day long, but I'm just trying to train my body, uh, yeah, to have less stimulants in my system. And uh, I do, I, lately I've been having a coffee after supper, but I'm not having one when I'm going to go to bed in an hour. So anyways, I'll have one now. And then later on today, I'll have another one. So, <laughs> but it was very sweet of him. I thanked him, you know, nicely and all that stuff. <clears throat> so I just nuke it in the microwave and Bob's your uncle. I got a hot Tim Hortons coffee. Oh yeah. I, I hit snooze a few times today. That's for sure. But I got up in enough time to have some of my coffee and uh, I had the lunches packed, and I think I have dishes to rotate and laundry to ro rotate, like I always do, because I always put that on right before I go to bed. But right now, I'm just going to have my coffee. So I'll be back. Ooh, all right. Are you ready to party? Are you ready? I hope you brought lots of spaghetti. <laughs> we need to go get the kids up. Whenever she comes up with me, she, Misha always ends up down on the floor sleeping with Violet. So she makes a little nest and those two sleep together. So when I go in to wake up Mace, he's in his bed. Misha's on the floor in her nest. So Violet handles getting Misha up and I handle getting Mazai up and I, Mazai, um, uh, Maze up. Mazai is good at getting up. I just need to tap on her door and, you know, wish her good morning and she gets up. No problem. So we need to go do that. And I was thinking, I want to do a Richard Simmons thing today. I'm going to still do my less pumps, but I haven't done Richard Simmons in a couple of weeks. I want to do a Richard Simmons. It's Friday. Let's double down on my activity today. But I got to still do my housely duties that I put on myself. But um, yeah, I'm determined to make today a good day. So... All right, guys, the kids just left on the bus. Boy, Maze was something else today. He was like this yesterday. Crank, 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 crank. I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to send him on the school bus. He's cranking so much. Refused to eat breakfast. I sent him with a little baggie of grapes. Oh, gosh, if it's not one, it's another. And it's not usually him. I mean, he's not the easiest to get up in the morning, but he's the smallest, so he has no choice. <laughs> But, oh gosh, what a great way to start the friggin' school day. I said, you need to simmer down because you want to have a good weekend. You're not going to be fighting me on stuff and hooting and hollering. There you go. Oh, that's in the way. I got to get Mally up. Oh, I wore my sneakers right outside. Oh. I'm gonna empty the dishwasher and rotate that laundry and I'll be back. I woke Mally up. I'm gonna try to get as much done as I possibly can before we leave the house. Well, as much as I want to do, I guess, so I don't have to do it later. But let me turn you around. You'll see my monster I'm gonna deal with. Right. Let me just turn the light on because whatever, it's snowing out a little bit, not hard, but. 
dusting the snow. This is like three big laundry baskets and a couple of towel racks. I want to get this folded and probably not put away before I leave, but at least it'll be folded, which is a big deal for me. I built myself a little wall. There's Mally. We're about to hit the road. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get this stuff put away today. If I don't feel like doing it, the kids can put their stuff away when they get home. But that's all the laundry I did yesterday. I kept doing laundry and laundry and laundry. And when I went to uh, rotate the laundry this morning, I forgot I didn't put one in last night before I went to bed. So I'll probably do at least one load today, just going around to pick up any towels and stuff. But, yeah. We're good, we're good. Ooh, I just came out to start the van. I'm gonna go get Violet, but look at the snow. It's pretty, it's not like storm and snow. Enough to like dust everything. But I don't know how much we're supposed to get today. But anyways, let's go get the girls. guys this is becoming a usual thing we're at the Tim Hortons drive through there's Violet say hi Violet you want to say hi Abby say hi hi, hi. all right it's our turn all right you know where I'm at I gotta I gotta go see 
I can't miss an opportunity to get a good deal. Those guys are having their Tim Hortons. All right, not as much meat. There was some roast beefs back there on sale. And there's some chicken, but we're kind of chickened out right now, so I'll, I'll just be nice and leave it for somebody else because I don't need it. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep on trucking. Oh yeah, these are those racks. Sometimes I pick stuff up here, sometimes I don't. But it's neat to see what they have. Mixed mix match of different things. All right, Evie's dropped off. Oh, now we'll go quickly over to the DS and then drop Violet's up in the front seat again, the silly girl. Oh, she's a wild and crazy girl. All right, Mally, have a good day at school. Goodbye. I love you. You're the best in the West, and the West don't miss. Don't fool with the cool, because the cool don't fool. Hey, you, check it out. Hey, you check it out. You guys remember that cheer? There, she jumped right up where she's supposed to be. Just like it's proper, right, Violet? Just like it's proper. Anyways, we're heading home now. All right, guys. Well, it's 927. Just got home. I'll show you what I picked up in town. I got this cabbage 50% off. It's still, cabbage is so expensive. This was still like five bucks, which is ridiculous. But at least it's not full price. Product of the USA. Yep. I got some hamburger buns. I'm going to make hamburgers tonight because I have two packs of hamburger I need to cook. So they're going to have hamburgers tonight. And I got the buns. This tea was on sale. I still have some of this, but this was um, $7.99, but it was $5.99 off. So it was a really good price. And King Cole tea is fantastic if you've never had it. I think they make this in New Brunswick. Um, which is another maritime province. Um, I got two English cucumbers, two for $3. They're going to have that tonight with their, with their hamburgers. Watermelon, 50% off, uh, $4.99. So I got two for the price of one. That's going to go with supper tonight. I got myself three of these waters. They're carbonated water, sweetened with stevia. I like them. I bought these two things of baby dill pickles. I have canned dill pickles in the basement, but these are baby ones. I thought they can go with the hamburgers tonight, too. Uh, they were two for $7. Um, and at the dollar store, I got Violet a couple more toys. I'm not going to give them to her now. This has like a crinkly in it and a squeaker in its head. And just, I don't know, maybe Easter or maybe whenever. And this one, this has a squeaker in it, too. But it's a little uh, tougher. Like, it's... It, seems more well built if you know what I'm saying a little bunny which would be nice for Easter too um, I got her some these chicken tender dog treats and that's all that's in it um, so yeah she likes those she hasn't had those in a while she'll get like one a day um, I got two bags of original chips that's gonna go with the hamburgers I was thinking I could make uh, french fries or something I don't have french fries but I could have picked some up but they're going to have some chips, some watermelon, some cucumber, some celery, which I have, some dill pickles, <laughs> and uh, that's what supper's going to be. I got eight cans of this. I only put one out. Um, Campbell's tomato soup. I don't think they usually sold Campbell's soup, but I see Miranda from Plus Size in Canada. She got some, and I seen it there, so I got eight cans because I often cook with this sometimes. Uh, that doesn't make sense often sometimes, but... Sometimes I cook with that, and I got some mustard because we needed some. So that's what I got. Not a great big bunch of stuff, but yeah, we're going to use her up. All right, guys. Well, it's quarter to 11. My husband was down here. We were chit-chatting and chit-chatting and chit-chatting, but I'm going to get uh, my groove on, and so is Violet, so we'll be back. Woo! We are stanking, aren't we, Violet? She was working out too. Oh boy. But I'm going to have a drink of water. And I said I want to do a Richard Simmons one. I have a bunch of his DVDs now. But I picked this one. I've never done this one. It's only 25 minutes. The other ones I've done are like an hour. I just want to use it kind of, um, yeah, to bang out as much as I can today. And after this, I'll have a quick shower and then start working on supper. Oh, yeah. This one's called Richard Simmons Super Tonin. Totally tonin. Looks like you're supposed to have a, 
elastic band of some sort and I have some up in my room like one of those stretchy things but my husband's up there working so I'll just make do with whatever I can find yeah I'll work it out oh just so you can see we'll press play and see play I don't know what kind of music he does for this one I'm proud of myself Richard uh, oh everlasting love the greatest love of all funky town physical Ooh, let's get physical the greatest American hero for the cool dam yeah All right, we just did that. Look at, look, she gave up on me. Look how she's laying. She gave up on me. I guess the other one, she got tuckered out. Let me pause that as the, so 25 minutes. I didn't get those bands, but I have these and I only have it on six pounds. So whatever the thing was, I just used those. I think it goes up to 30 pounds or something like it's adjustable. But, yeah, I really need a shower. So, what time is it? 12.26. But my arms are shaking like my, my, the muscle, the triceps behind my arm. Yeah, that's what's doing it for me now. But I'm just going to have some water, jump in the shower, then we're going to make some burgers. But I'm glad I got those done and over with. Not that I dread doing it, but it's like, it's hard to do when the house is full of kids. I can do it, but I'd rather just do it while I have a moment to myself. I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend. I'd like to get up. I wish I could get up at like 4 o'clock and bang all this stuff out and then have the rest of the day and maybe have an afternoon kink. I don't know. We'll see, but I'll be back. All right, guys, 12.55, and I had a shower. Looked like I'm wearing the exact same clothes except for this hoodie, but I swear all my wardrobe is the exact same, pretty much. Black turtlenecks, black tank tops, black pants, black undies, and bras. I keep it simple. Anyways, I have my towels and stuff. They will go right in the washing machine. All right, what I'm going to do before I start those burgers, I still have some of this Organifi green juice. I'm going to make a green drink. I put a scoop of that. It has ashwagandha in it, infused and coconut infused. It's vegan, I think. Superfood powder. And I like to put collagen peptides in it. It's good for hair and skin. Um, Grass-fed, pasture-raised beef, collagen. So... I'll sip on that while I'm making some burgers. All right, guys, my husband just filled up the wood stove. Oh, I'll take a snort off of this. Violet didn't want any. I asked her, but she didn't want any. I'm just going to make some burgers. I'm not going to season them. I'm going to make them big and fat, though. Cause I only have 12 buns and I want to use up all 12 buns. So I need to not have so many hamburgers. I need to have big fat hamburgers, make 12 of them. So 50% uh, off. Of course, this one is regular 927. That one is 813 and it's medium ground beef. I'm going to use my George Foreman and yeah, that's all I need to cook for that because I'm going to do the chips, pickles. I might do the cucumbers. I might not because we have celery. I'm in watermelon. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. So, and I'll start doing these probably 2.30, <coughs> quarter to 3, like on the grill. And the rest I just plate up. I'm all shiny because of the cream I put on. I have eczema for those that don't know. I've had it all my life. Maze has it. My other kids have it. Misha outgrew it. Well, she doesn't have it now. Mally outgrew it. I hope to God Maze outgrows it. Um, and yeah, oh, messy stuff. But there is a lot worse things in the world to have, so... You know, 
I don't want to complain. Don't want to complain. But yeah, I'm glad I did those. I'm starting to develop a habit of doing this. I know it takes a while to actually officially develop a habit. And I don't expect my fitness journey to be immediate weight loss. Um, it's not going to stick if it's immediate. I mean, I'd like to lose a little bit each week, but I don't want to lose 20 pounds in one week kind of thing. So do it bit by bit. And I'm not doing like intense exercises. I'm doing a bit with weights at a reasonable weight level and lots of repetition. And I only do it till I can't do it no more. And then I stop. And Richard Simmons, I just find it such a positive thing to watch and try to do. I was debating on setting you guys up and watching me flop around the living room. But uh, I just, I loved all the 80s songs. The ab workout when we're down doing push-ups and butt raises and stuff. It's that, let's get physical, physical. You know what song I'm talking about? Anyways, funny. But a lot of the moves are like dance moves. It's like Zumba or something. You got to do it a few times to know what the next move is. Like he doesn't like tell you. He tells you quickly before he does it and then he does it. And of course, all the people in his videos know what's coming up next. So they're all smooth flowing doing it. And it's not difficult at all, but I'm like that one person in a class that would be going left when everybody's going right. So I just had to laugh at myself. And Violet was laughing too until she fell asleep. I need to make these a little bigger because there's four. Well, I'll make as many as I can make, I guess, because maybe, I mean, I could have a hamburger and some lettuce leaves. I do have lettuce I can give them. I should have got a tomato. Or two, you know, lettuce, pickle, tomato. That one's a fatty. That one's a big old fatty burger. But it uses up these two. I still got that pork steak I gotta cook. I don't know, I gotta check it. If not, I'll cook it today. We just won't eat it today. But yeah, we good. I, in regards to my fitness health journey, those have been watching for a long time. The heaviest I ever weighed was 211 pounds. And then I did keto for the first time and I lost almost 100 pounds, like 97 pounds. You can see back in my videos, like I didn't do weight loss videos or anything, but you can see the progression. But then I gained most of it back, not all of it back. So that's why I'm doing this now. And when I lost that 97 pounds, I didn't do hardly any exercises. I'm doing more this time than I did before, but I want to do it in a responsible way. I'm not going to go crazy and, you know, be obsessed with exercising and not do anything else around the house. I still got to be a mom. I still got to cook. I still got to bath kids and do their hair and wash laundry and all that stuff. I got two, four, six, seven burgers out of that one pack. Oh. But anyways, um, where was I going with this? Anyways, this time, <clears throat> since I started this, I think like the beginning of January, I think I'm up to 28 pounds that I've lost, but it's March now. You know what I mean? Like I didn't lose it in one, one month. I could, I have fasted in the past, like I didn't go into it lightly. I did a lot of research and I did, you know, a 24 hour fast, a 48 hour fast. The highest I've ever done is eight day fast, water fast. And you lose some weight, of course, but it's not sustainable. I mean, you can do it for a very long time, but I'm not gonna do that to myself. And I don't wanna do that right now. I just, I'm trying to get a solid foundation for myself because I went through a little dip there for a while and I've never done that before in regards to like last fall and the funk that I was in. That's never happened to me before. And I don't want it to happen again, so I need to get strong, mind, body, and soul before I try to test myself so much. I'm already testing myself some, but in a reasonable way, one that I'm comfortable with. Um, 
doing it my way. I don't weigh out my food. I don't count macros or I've never done that. That's too mentally exhausting for me. I don't even want to try to do that. I don't, I'm just like, I work my way down to one meal a day and make it a good nutrient dense meal and I'm good. I'm good. My body gets fat adapted and it uses the fat in my body already as fuel. And uh, I don't have the cravings. I'll have some once in a while, but I'm not ruled by food, except for my family. I gotta still, it's funny because I love to shop for food. I love to shop for cleaning stuff too, but you can only buy so much of that. Food, you can buy all the time because you gotta feed a troop of people, or I do. And my kids love food. And I'm not buying junk food all the time. And I want to feed them meals. At least, you know, stick to your rib meals if possible. But I want them to have the nutrients too. But I don't want them to go through what I'm going through right now. They're growing children. They need to have meals. And try to keep them active. And I'm glad my kids like vegetables. And we try new vegetables and fruits and stuff. The kids like more fruits than I do. I was never a big fruit person. If I eat an apple, I eat it with a knife. I'm one of those kind of people. I like grapes. I like bananas, but I don't like melons. And I don't like, I don't know, cantaloupe or, you know, I like strawberries. That's more of a berry, of course. I like raspberries, blackberries. I don't like blueberries. What else is there? Yeah, I'm more of a veggie person, always have been. But I didn't even count how many hamburgers I made in that second pack, but there you go. That's a mountain of burgers. Anyways, I don't know what got me on this kick at all. I guess just explaining my new lifestyle. I don't find it restrictive. I wouldn't do it if I didn't want to do it. I'm still working with food. I'm not hiding away from the world. I'm doing it on my own pace, my own way, and for as long as I want to do it, or maybe forever, or maybe not, or when I, whatever. I'm not very good at explaining things, am I? But maybe that's why you love me. <laughs> ah, Tracy, you're a fool. Anyways, I'm going to, what time is it? It's too early to make these now. It's only 20 after, well, 17 after 1. Yeah, what can I do now? All that laundry is still sitting out there that I did this morning. I didn't even put, well, I put mine away because I brought it up. This was in my clean laundry. Another turtleneck. I got a tank top under this, and I got my sports bra, and my black pants, and black socks. All that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll be back in a bit when we start grilling these. Um, oh, I did get, well, I got it a long time ago. If I had been thinking, I would have did this on the wood stove. A cast iron grill, like just a long rectangle cast iron thing that you can put on a fire or in the oven or anything with the little teeth that would be on George Foreman grill. I got one at Super er, Canadian Tire months and months and months ago. It's still sitting in the back of the van. Yeah, I'm that kind of a person, but... Um, that would have been something to good good to try on that. Another day, another day, I, perhaps. But I'm gonna have my green drink, I'm gonna wipe my table off, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, well, it's only 1.48. I done my drink. I just washed this celery I bought yesterday, 50% off. It says it's all ready to eat, wash, but I always rinse my stuff anyways. Better safe than sorry. And I washed a, one of the cucumbers I got this morning. So, I thought I'll get this stuff ready. And that way it's easier when it comes time to deal with all the children. I'm going to cut it. I'm not going to leave them right long. Hold on. I'll leave it. I don't know, a little more. I'm not going to cut it up small like I was putting it in a dish, but 
I'm not going to leave it right big, which I did yesterday, which is fine, but they're probably not going to need a whole lot because they can have a little bit of everything. And whatever they don't eat at supper, I'll just put it in a bag and put it in the fridge. So there's that. My husband's upstairs working. But one of these, I've had this for years, like 15 years or something. It's just one of those slicers. I think this might be Pampered Chef. I forget now. But it just makes the crinkle cut cucumber because we fancy like that you know but I mean I cut it with a knife this just makes it a little nicer and yeah I'm gonna leave them right here on this thing have you guys sitting on a chair not on the table because my table jiggles kind of like I do it's crinkled crinkle cut like the crinkle cut potato chips all right I'm just gonna cover this with some plastic wrap I'll get you off and get a better look isn't that purdy purdy nice and green and vibrant I'll wrap it, put it out in the porch, it'll be nice and cool and crisp when they go to eat it. Actually, I didn't wrap it. I reused this chicken casserole bag we had the other day. I use, reuse these bags, you know, a couple of times unless they're real dirty. But I rinse them out and then I hang them up to let them dry. And yeah, fits in there perfect. I almost forgot, guys. I was about to sit down and relax. I'm ahead of the game. Got supper all ready to rock. Except for the burgers. I forgot about that watermelon. I need to cut it up. I, I don't generally like buying whole watermelons because I'm too lazy to cut them up. Really. I know it's ridiculous, but it's true. But um, it's already half cut. <laughs> so it won't be so bad. So, yeah. But I want to use this up today, so this way I can get it all cut up, and they can go to town on it. And I got a good sharp knife. Another thing I've noticed that my body is changing. My weight isn't falling off um, fast, but I'm getting smaller. Like these gloves are a lot bigger than they used to be, and my sweaters aren't as tight as they used to be. But I think it's the not that I'm getting big muscles, but the toning, the toning of my jiggle. So that's what I care more about, that I can fit into clothes that I want to wear. I love blue jeans. I want to be able to wear blue jeans, and I'm not comfortable in blue jeans right now, but I will be. And same with that printed fashion show clothes. I wear every single stitch of those clothes, but they don't fit me how I... I want them to fit me, yet I don't bother trying to cut that little corner off. They can just have a corner piece. I don't know if that's all going to fit on this board or not. I might have to put it on a cookie sheet, which would work too. God. I was heating up um, that other, did I tell you this morning that my husband got me two coffees? I was heating up that other one. I was going to drink it later, but I'm like, no, I kind of want it now, so I'm going to have it now. Anyways, it's in the microwave, and I'm like, oh yeah, the watermelon. This will all be eaten tonight. My kids love watermelon, um, especially on a cold, snowy day <laughs> or a hot summer day. They'll love it any time of year. I am just going to try to pile this if possible.
if possible, until I can get this all cut up. And I wouldn't care if they ate this before the burgers were done because they're always ravenous when they get home. And I'll just set this on the table and I'll take a few slices out for Mally and they can have at her. There, isn't that pretty? Now I can have my coffee and I'll, actually I'm gonna rinse these gloves and reuse them for the hamburgers because I just didn't want my hands to get sticky and itchy. I didn't know if they would dealing with that. Again, one of those eczema things, you know what I'm saying. So now I'll be back. All right, guys, I had that Tim Hortons. I unloaded my phone. I'm about to go downstairs and give my husband a haircut with some buzzers. So chop, chop. A light. I just put three burgers on the grill. Uh, the kids should be home any second now. Um, yeah. I'll show you when they're done. I think, oh, there's the, all right, the kids just got home. Violet, can't wait for them to open that door. Oh, yes. <laughs> there's Misha peeking. Oh, they'll be excited when they see that watermelon. I know they will be. <coughs> Happy Friday. Oh. No, just wait a minute. You got to wash your hands and everything. Oh. Didn't I tell ya? Didn't I tell ya? I told ya. No. Not you guys. These guys. <laughs> I'm about to start plating. I'm still cooking burgers though, but I always get the buns out and put their dressings on and then I squish them together. Misha, or no, Mazaya and Mays just want ketchup. Misha likes ketchup with a little bit of mustard and a little bit of relish. Oh, I gotta get the pickles out, but I got that out, the chips out watermelon they each had two pieces now so I'll just probably put one on their plate right now and um, yeah that's gonna be supper all right there we have it so this one's Misha she likes all the black plates and the black bowls and all that kind of stuff so there's her I gave uh, her a corner piece Maze a corner piece because I wanted one of these pieces and um, yeah I'm gonna ring the dinner bell for these folks Alright guys, well it is just about 6 o'clock. I'm going to end this video now. The kids enjoyed supper. The watermelon, I think there's three pieces left. Like I knew they'd gobble that right up. I'm hiding in the upstairs bathroom. So I just came out of here. I said I need to go in, but I needed space without anybody. Excuse the toilet, it's just filling up. But um, my husband's working in the bedroom and I didn't want to be out in the hall talking, that sort of thing. Oh, for goodness sakes, hurry up. What? I don't know where your tablet is now. What are you doing? None of your business what I'm doing. Like I said. There. Now they can leave me be. But yeah, we had a pretty good day, I think. I got some stuff done. Well, not a whole lot around the house, but I did do that laundry and I did cook supper. And it was something they'd eat. There's a few hamburgers left, though, but Marquise and Kara haven't been been here yet. So, anyways, I plan on filming tomorrow, too. And I'm feeling good that uh, I got those two workouts in. And just chit-chat about my new, healthy-ish lifestyle. Personal style. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.